Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. And guess what? I got a box from Coilcraft. I just ordered samples, what? Gosh, just a short minute ago, it seems like. I just posted a video, right? And let's take a look inside this box. All right, so let me just show you what came in this package today. Pretty happy about this. Certificate of Compliance from Coilcraft. Very awesome. And here's our first box. Let's take a quick look. Wow, that tape is tough. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Attention, there are parts under this lid. Why well, would hope so? As a matter of fact, I think it's going to be that part number. And it looks like quantity two. That's what I asked for, and that's what they sent me. And look how nicely it was packaged. Wow, very nice. No way that's going to get destroyed. Well, let's not say no way. We don't want to. Wow, okay, so. Try and tell if this piece under here. Okay, this is a metal shield, and there's two halves of the core, you can see. It's a really neat shield. It comes down to this piece of material, which it's hard for me to tell what that is. I was wondering if it's some kind of ferrite, but I think it's a plastic material. Wow, I'm not sure. Could be a piece of ferrite, some kind of ferrite, because it's pretty darn hard. So, yeah, not sure about that. Uh, could be part of the shielding. But, yeah, there's a nice inductor. So it's the AGP4233224. So, okay, there's two samples of that piece. And then I just ordered two different parts. So here we go. Let's take a look at this one. Again, there's some attention here. We don't want to forget there's parts underneath this. I wonder how many people throw away parts thinking that they they uncovered what they thought they were going to get and threw away something else because I asked for two samples and they were delivered in the same package. So maybe people would expect them being shipped in different packages. But I just thought that was humorous. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Man, isn't that nice? Nice size toroid. There we go. Pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, measure this thing, okay? Yeah, the display on this Hantex is a little bit dim. Um, and I don't know, especially with the lights on in here, it looks dim. But so it looks like here's one lead, and then the other one, they're glued on both sides. So it's kind of hard to tell, but let's just find out. All right, turns out that it's on these two glued ends. I saw that glued in, and I thought. It'd be on one end and one of these two, but it turns out it's these two. So it's 360 microhenries, it's saying. I um, wonder if we can get to the resistance. There we go. That is that right? 1.9 ohms? I don't know if that's right. I have to go back and look at the spec. I think that's right there, RS. So 141 milliohms, I, I guess. And that's just, you know, with these wires, that's just a rough measurement. But, all right, let's just try this big guy, this other big guy. And I think we're going to go to these two pins. It's a little bit less. It's about 100 milliohms. And 241 microhenries. So, that's that part. Thank you, Coilcraft. All right, so what do you think? 
Um, yeah, a lot of vendors, you know, you go on the website. Uh, I think Texas Instruments is one of them. That makes it very easy to, like, coil craft to get samples. You saw me in the video the other day. I just went ahead off camera and just finished that, um, you know, request. Just put in my address. Didn't have to say that I worked for any particular company or that I was working on a certain project with so much annual usage or anything like that. Just put in my address and voila, samples. Maybe Coil Craft's going to change your mind after all you guys go off asking for samples. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I just want to say that a lot of vendors out there are very um, generous and they try to help us with our projects because, you know, they're hoping that we like their product and that we use them in our, uh, you know, well, they're hoping to sell lots of them, right? But, you know, this project that we're doing here on this channel, I hope to make boards that will be suitable for all kinds of audio amplifiers uh, and other things with slight modifications. So, yeah, very universal power supply I think we're going to come up with. And especially the power factor correction circuit, which these will be used in. So thank you, Coilcraft, and thanks to all my... Uh, patrons and supporters of the channel uh, there's a thank you button down below some people have hit that I really appreciate that big thumbs up to you guys and thanks for watching and next video well maybe I don't know next video but in a video soon to come we will put this on a board I have an eval card from I think it's Texas Instruments <laughs> so we'll swap out their inductor for this inductor and see how it works okay Alright, hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.